The Senate just voted in favor of Sweden and Finland joining NATO. I would have voted against it, here's why. The vote was an overwhelming 95 to 1. The way NATO membership works is that all member states must unanimously approve new applicants. But after making some not great concessions to Turkey, it looks like that won't be an issue. Now it's worth noting that the European Union, which Sweden and Finland are a part of, already has a mutual defense pact, although people don't trust it quite as much. Now let's be honest, even without NATO, if Sweden or Finland were attacked by Russia, the US would almost certainly get involved. But it's worth remembering that NATO isn't just a mutual defense pact. Members are expected to put 2% of their GDP towards military spending. Now to be fair, most of them don't do that. But with global military spending passing $2 trillion for the first time in 2021, do we really want more incentive for countries to spend on their military? Membership could also put more pressure on Finland and Sweden to go along with future NATO incursions that are not defensive. A past example of that would be the NATO intervention in Libya. Now anyone that's followed me knows that I am a big admirer of what Sweden and Finland have been able to accomplish domestically. But it's not just domestic policy, there are many instances of Sweden and Finland breaking with the Western powers in terms of foreign policy as well. For example, Sweden opening its doors to Chilean refugees after the US-backed coup. In fact, during the Cold War, more often than not, you could identify them as non-aligned. Now, Russia's invasion has caused support for joining NATO to rise dramatically in Finland, as well as in Sweden. And I'm sympathetic with why they feel that way, but ultimately, I don't think Sweden and Finland joining is the right move.